Yes, what you know about the world. Surely, God will do nothing without revealing it to his prophet. Yes, sir. God will do nothing without revealing it to his servant, the prophet. Yes, On the 31st night, this, by Friday this week, you are going to hear different revelations. Amen. Listen, you are going to hear different revelations from different pastors all over the world. Prediction concerning the year 2022 that is coming up. Amen. Amen. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, from verse 1 down to 13, Bible says, we see in part, we prophesy in part. By the grace of God, God has called me to this generation for a particular reason. And I will not say, don't say the Lord when he has not spoken to me. He gave me a revelation last night. I said, my servant, you have to go. And I said, they will not believe me. He said, let it be on record that the message I sent you, you have delivered it. Let he that wants to believe, believe. He that doesn't want to believe, let it not believe. I lie on my own altar and I was weeping, Lord, they will not believe me. They will not believe me. I got this revelation inside revelation. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, sir. I was having this revelation inside a revelation, the same revelation. It came to me by voice that sounded in heaven. Boom, 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 and he was speaking. There is a young pastor in Port Harcourt who I saw was passing and I dragged him. I said, come, come and hear what God is saying. My man was, he will not hear. I never knew that the voice was so loud that he said, God so dead. What God was telling me and he fought his hand and was crying bitterly. From that segment, I found myself with our great father, Baba Enoch Adeboye. And Baba said to me, Son, neither. And as he was praying, he said, Father, the message you have for me and the world through this, your son, say to me now. And I started repeating the same message that I heard in the other revelation to Baba Adeboye. Amen? Yeah. Now, this is the revelation. Tell whoever that comes to hear that the coming of Jesus is very close. <laughs> Tell whoever that comes to hear that my coming is as close as yet to that door. He said, I am sending you this message. To my son, Pastor Enoch Adeboye of Redeemed Christian Church of God. Tell my son to tell the world that my coming is very close. Everybody put your house in order. Everybody put your house in order. It will happen so soon. And he said, my servant, I am tired. My coming is as close as anything. Tell him, my son, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, Baba Enoch Adeboye, to tell the world, to tell the Christian all over the world that my coming is very close. Number two. Number one. Number two. He said, tell my son, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, to tell all the pastors in the world, mostly in Africa and Nigeria, 
everybody should withdraw from fighting for his or her pocket. Tell them to preach my coming. The year 2022, every pastor should preach the coming of Jesus. Say, because my coming is very close. My coming is very close. Say, pastors have turned my altar to a place where they do trade and butter. He said, including you that I'm sending now. Including you. Let your preaching from today be on my coming. Tell my son, Baba Deboe, to pass this message across to all the pastors in the world, mostly in Africa and in Nigeria. Send their atrocity on the altar. I can no longer behold it. He said, tell my people. I said, but Lord, they will not believe me. He said, it does not matter whether they believe you. He that has here, let him hear. And he said, 2022, I am going to deal with so many pastors. Just say the Lord. I am going to deal with so many pastors. So my servant, if you were having the mind of going astray, restrain your step now. Because I will kill pastors like the way they slaughtered chicken in the year 2022. If they refuse to preach my coming, preach repentance, say, I am coming to slaughter the one. Say, watch and see what is going to happen. But tell my son, Baba Enoch and Ebony, to now pass the message across. He should speak so that I will not hold him responsible. And the Lord said, I should tell anyone, if you have ever spoken against negative, against Baba Ebony, begin to ask God for forgiveness before it will be too late. Before it will be too late, I speak in parable. Before it will be too late, you still see, see Baba, ask God for mercy before it will be too late. The year 2022, this is what God said I should tell the world. You believe? You don't believe? It's none of my business. You will see it. And God said, My servant, I saw. Another lockdown, and this lockdown I am talking about, eh, <laughs> unlike the one that happened before, this lockdown will be more powerful and more dangerous than the one that's ever that's ever happened. Tell the world to pray because I saw coronavirus coming back by part two in a very serious form. Let them pray, let them pray, let them pray. Lockdown to so Nigeria. The Lord said I should tell the federal government to do whatever they can do to make sure things are in order because I saw a revolution. I saw what? I saw people running. I saw fire here. I saw fire here. I saw fire here. And I saw policemen withdrawing. I saw policemen, Nigeria police withdrawing. So fire everywhere. And above all, the Lord said that the year 2022 will be a year of divine turnaround for his people. Yeah. I thought you would shout amen. Yeah. amen. A year of divine turnaround for all his people. Amen. This is the voice of the Lord. I am only a messenger. Wherever you are going to watch this video, save it. Save my name. Save this picture. Because time we come, the world, Africa, Nigeria, will remember this message. Thank you, and God bless you.